majority of unidentified objects reported to Arrow and in our holdings demonstrate mundane characteristics. High above the Earth, the International Space Station, ISS, diligently conducts vital research on a daily basis. Yet, recent murmurs have emerged regarding an unidentified flying object reportedly sighted near the station. Despite public intrigue and speculation, NASA and other authorities have chosen to remain tight-lipped on the matter. Join us as we delve into NASA's latest discovery concerning the UFO. On March 28, 2013, a captivating incident unfolded during a spacewalk by NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy outside the ISS. As Cassidy ventured into the vast expanse of space, adorned in his astronaut attire, his trained eyes caught sight of an unfamiliar object gracefully floating nearby. This unexpected sighting immediately ignited curiosity within the scientific community and among enthusiasts of unidentified flying objects. However, it's important to note that Cassidy, a seasoned astronaut with vast experience, did not hastily attribute the object to extraterrestrial origins or classify it as an unidentified species. Upon noticing the enigmatic white object, Cassidy promptly reported his finding to the diligent ground control team, adhering to the rigorous protocols for such extraordinary circumstances. In response, Cassidy and his fellow astronaut companion, Tom Marshburn, were directed to continue their ongoing tasks without delay to their mission. Subsequently, during a press conference addressing this curious event, Cassidy willingly offered further insights and clarification regarding the nature of the enigma he had encountered. Through his eloquence and expertise, he revealed that it was highly plausible for the object to be nothing more than a stray piece of debris, possibly a transient light cover, or even a fragment of insulation that had inadvertently disengaged from the pristine exterior of the space station. The International Space Station, often referred to as a colossal spacecraft orbiting the Earth, serves as not only a residence for cosmonauts and astronauts, but also as a unique science laboratory, constructed and operated by a collaboration of nations. The International Space Station, ISS, is a marvel of human ingenuity, featuring components assembled in space by courageous astronauts hurtling through the cosmos at a breathtaking speed of 17,500 miles per hour. Orbiting the Earth every 90 minutes at an altitude of 250 miles, this spaceship spans an area equivalent to a football field, encompassing the end zones as measured from the edges of its solar arrays. Weighing approximately one million pounds on Earth, the ISS stands as a testament to international collaboration, with contributions from the United States, Russia, Europe, Japan, and Canada. Various modules and laboratories interconnect throughout the station, with Russian modules laying the groundwork for essential systems and living quarters, equipped with solar arrays to harness solar energy and regulate the station's temperature. Robotic arms play a crucial role in the construction of this colossal structure, aiding astronauts in their spacewalks and experimental endeavors. Docking ports serve as entryways for visiting spacecraft and human visitors, while airlocks facilitate access. Yet, amid its scientific pursuits, the ISS has not been immune to mystery. Reports of unidentified objects docking with the station have shrouded these ports in suspicion and intrigue fueling speculation about clandestine activities in space. One notable feature of the ISS that has captivated audiences is its array of cameras, known affectionately as the Columbus Eye. Consisting of four high-definition cameras launched in April 2014 as part of the CR-3 mission, these cameras provide breathtaking views of Earth and the space station's surroundings accessible to enthusiasts via live streaming platforms. Linked to the station's computer via Ethernet cable, these cameras not only transmit images back to Earth, but also serve as test subjects for durability in the harsh conditions of space. Allegations have surfaced, however, suggesting that NASA may selectively deactivate these cameras during live streaming, raising questions about transparency and public awareness of cosmic events. Amidst controversies and speculation, NASA remains at the forefront of space exploration, positioned to observe and investigate the unknown. Yet, debates persist about the agency's transparency and the nature of its revelations, 
particularly in light of sightings such as the enigmatic UFO encounter. Among the array of life sciences experiments conducted aboard the International Space Station, ISS, one standout is the Twins study. This pioneering endeavor compared the physiological effects of spaceflight on identical twin astronauts, Scott and Mark Kelly. Scott spent an impressive 340 days aboard the ISS, while Mark remained on Earth, allowing scientists a unique opportunity to analyze any changes in Scott's biology and physiology resulting from his time in space. The study unveiled significant alterations in gene expression, immune function, bone density, and cognitive abilities, offering valuable insights into the potential long-term impacts of space travel on human health. These findings hold profound implications for the planning and execution of future extended space missions, ensuring the well-being and safety of astronauts remain paramount. In the realm of physical sciences, a notable experiment conducted on the ISS is the SPHERES project. This initiative involves small robotic satellites maneuvering and undertaking various tasks within the confines of the space station, demonstrating the capabilities of autonomous systems in a microgravity environment. Insights garnered from the SPHERES project are indispensable for advancing autonomous spacecraft and robotic technologies, crucial not only for future space exploration endeavors, but also potentially for applications here on Earth. Undoubtedly, the International Space Station has transformed our comprehension of space, science, and humanity's position in the cosmos. Through its diverse array of research endeavors, it stands as a testament to human achievement and international collaboration. The knowledge acquired from the ISS is poised to shape the trajectory of space exploration, igniting our ambitions for further discoveries and propelling the boundaries of human understanding. On January 7, 1948, a mysterious and unidentified flying object was pursued near Fort Knox, Kentucky, marking the Mantell UFO incident. Named after Captain Thomas F. Mantell, a skilled pilot in the Kentucky Air National Guard who tragically lost his life during the pursuit, this incident also involved the subsequent crash landing of the unidentified craft. The Mantell UFO incident, occurring on January 7, 1948 near Fort Knox, Kentucky, remains a pivotal event in the annals of unidentified flying objects, UFOs. Named after Captain Thomas F. Mantell, a revered pilot in the Kentucky Air National Guard who tragically lost his life during the pursuit, this incident encompasses the pursuit and eventual crash landing of an unidentified aerial phenomenon. Around 1.45 p.m., numerous individuals in Kentucky reported witnessing a substantial circular object hovering in the skies. Descriptions of the object varied. Some observers noted metallic characteristics, while others likened its shape to that of a disc or saucer. Reports flooded in from concerned citizens to both the Kentucky State Police and military authorities. Among the pilots dispatched for investigation was Captain Mantell, a seasoned aviator with combat experience from World War II. Piloting an F-51 Mustang, he ascended to approximately 22,500 feet in pursuit of the mysterious craft, describing it as sizable and metallic. Despite receiving instructions to maintain altitude due to oxygen concerns, Mantell persisted in his pursuit, ultimately losing contact and tragically perishing as his plane crashed. Subsequent to the incident, the Air Force conducted an official investigation Initially, speculation abounded regarding the nature of the observed object, with theories ranging from a weather balloon to more exotic possibilities. Further inquiries suggested that Mantell may have been in pursuit of a skyhook balloon utilized by the U.S. Navy for cosmic ray studies. The Mantell incident continues to spark ongoing debates and unanswered inquiries, with speculations swirling about potential extraterrestrial involvement, despite the topic remaining controversial. While some believe the military's initial explanation was deceitful, others argue that Mantell may have been in pursuit of an ordinary object, but became disoriented or experienced hypoxia. This sighting stands as an early and unfortunate occurrence in the realm of unidentified flying objects, UFOs, fueling multiple post-incident inquiries and various hypotheses about what transpired that fateful day. However, it remains a subject of dispute and conjecture within UFO folklore. 
In more recent times, NASA established the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force in 2021, playing a crucial role in gathering extensive data on UAP sightings to discern their origin, whether natural, human-made, or something entirely mysterious. Collaborating closely with agencies such as the U.S. Department of Defense and the Federal Aviation Administration, the task force aims to comprehensively understand these enigmatic sightings and unravel the answers they seek. It's important to clarify that the UAP task force's primary focus is not specifically on investigating the potential existence of extraterrestrial life or aliens. Rather, it aims to examine the nature of UAP sightings, assess any potential threats to people or aircraft, and uncover underlying risks. Through diligent sourcing and analysis of data from various reliable sources, including military pilots, civilian aircraft, radar systems, and satellites, the task force strives to gather a wide range of perspectives and information. Despite these rigorous efforts, conclusive explanations regarding the true nature of these unidentified aerial phenomena remain elusive. A notable update from July 2022 saw the task force releasing a preliminary report presenting findings after analyzing 144 UAP sightings. While approximately 80% of the identified sightings could be reasonably explained as resulting from natural or man-made occurrences, such as weather balloons or drones, the remaining 20% defy clear-cut explanations, leaving the door open for entirely different and unexplained phenomena. It's crucial to note that this preliminary report differs from a conclusion as the task force continues its diligent research and prepares to release a more detailed and extensive report in the near future. Among the myriad UAP sightings scrutinized by the task force, one particularly notorious incident looms large, the infamous Tic Tac episode of 2004 off the coast of California. In this riveting encounter, Navy pilots recounted witnessing an object resembling a Tic Tac, displaying astonishing speed and executing maneuvers that defied the capabilities of conventional aircraft. While the task force has yet to ascertain the nature of this object, their investigations have definitively ruled out the possibility of it being a known aircraft or manned drone. Additionally, significant attention has been devoted to analyzing other remarkable UAP sightings, such as the widely discussed Gimbal and Go Fast videos captured by Navy pilots in 2015. Through their steadfast dedication and collaborative efforts, the UAP Task Force strives to uncover the truth behind these extraordinary aerial phenomena, seeking clarity and understanding in a realm that continues to intrigue and challenge our scientific understanding. As we delve into recent discoveries by NASA, one particularly intriguing find pertains to a mini-moon orbiting the asteroid Dinkinesh. During its first flyby of the asteroid, NASA's Lucy spacecraft detected a system comprising two asteroids, with a small satellite measuring approximately 220 meters in diameter orbiting around Dinkinesh. Positioned roughly 270 miles away, Lucy captured captivating images showcasing the asteroid and its diminutive companion. Analysis of data and images transmitted back to Earth confirmed Dinkinesh's proximity at a mere 500 miles, with its circling moon measuring a mere 220 meters in size. Keith Knoll, an astronomer and Lucy Project scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, expressed excitement noting that the encounter marked the closest observation of the smallest main belt asteroid to date, amplifying the significance of this discovery. Situated roughly 300 million miles, or 480 million kilometers from Earth, Dinkinesh and its newfound moon reside within the main asteroid belt, nestled between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Han Levinson, the principal investigator for Lucy from the Southwest Research Institute, remarked that Dinkinesh lived up to its name, as this discovery proved to be truly marvelous. In the Amharic language of Ethiopia, Dinkinesh translates to, you are marvelous. Tom Kennedy, a guidance and navigation engineer at Lockheed Martin in Littleton, Colorado, echoed this sentiment, describing the series of images as awesome, highlighting the success of the terminal tracking system, despite the unexpected challenges posed by the universe. 
The data collected will be instrumental in evaluating the spacecraft's performance during the encounter and in preparations for the next close-up examination scheduled for 2025 at another asteroid, serving as a blueprint for exploring larger, more enigmatic asteroids NASA dispatched Lucy past Dinkinesh, venturing out near Jupiter. The mission's primary targets are the Trojans, a group of eight asteroids. Launched in 2021, Lucy is slated to reach the first of these Trojan asteroids in 2027, embarking on a six-year exploration mission. Originally targeting seven asteroids, the list has now expanded to 11. According to Live Science, Trojan asteroids are believed to be composed of ancient materials similar to those that formed the outer planets of the solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Investigating these asteroids could yield valuable insights into the solar system's formation over four billion years ago. In a significant celestial milestone, the existence of over 5,500 exoplanets beyond our solar system has been confirmed. While only a handful of planets orbiting our Sun were known until recently, the quest to explore worlds beyond our own solar system has been ongoing. NASA has recently expanded its exoplanet archive with a fresh batch of six planets beyond our immediate solar system, bringing the total tally to over 5,500 following a remarkable 31-year journey of astronomical discoveries. Utilizing various detection methods, the NASA Exoplanet Archive meticulously records confirmed discoveries. The six newly identified exoplanets named HD 36384b, TOI 198b, TOI 2095b, TOI 2095c, TOI 4860b, and MWC 758c mark another milestone in our understanding of celestial bodies beyond our own planetary system. NASA scientists recall the groundbreaking confirmation of the first exoplanets in 1992 with the detection of twin planets Poltergeist and Phobitor orbiting the pulsar PSRB 1257 plus 12. March 2022 witnessed celebrations as the count of confirmed exoplanets reached 5,000. Scientists have leveraged both space and ground-based instruments and observatories to detect and study exoplanets. NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, launched in 2018, has been instrumental in identifying thousands of exoplanet candidates and confirming over 320 planets. Furthermore, NASA's flagship space telescopes, including Spitzer, Hubble, and the recently deployed James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have played vital roles in the discovery and analysis of exoplanets. These diverse exoplanets encompass a wide range of compositions, from small rocky worlds akin to Earth to larger super-Earths and gas giants surpassing the size of Jupiter. Some intriguingly orbit two stars simultaneously, while others stubbornly encircle the remnants of collapsed stars. In another stunning display of its capabilities, the James Webb Space Telescope, affectionately known as JWST, recently captured a striking image of a supernova, providing astronomers with unparalleled insights into the expanding remnants of these cosmic explosions. The James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera, NIARCAM, recently captured stunning images of the remnants of a star that exploded 36 years ago, providing unprecedented resolution and unveiling brand new details about this burgeoning supernova remnant. Among the most celebrated supernovae, SN 1987A has been the subject of intense study by James Webb. Situated 168,000 light years away, SN 1987A has been under scrutiny across various wavelengths, from gamma rays to radio waves for approximately 40 years. These observations offer intricate insights into the aftermath of colossal stellar explosions, captivating astronomers worldwide. The latest observations by the Webb Telescope offer crucial clues to understanding the evolution of supernovae and the formation of their remnants over time. The captured image reveals a central structure resembling a keyhole densely populated with clumpy gas and dust ejected during the supernova's explosive demise. This dust is so densely packed that even the near-infrared light detected by Webb cannot penetrate it, creating the distinctive dark hole within the keyhole. Surrounding the central keyhole structure, 
a bright equatorial ring encircles the remnant like a band, connecting two faint arms of hourglass-shaped outer rings. This equatorial ring, formed from material expelled tens of thousands of years before the supernova explosion, contains bright hotspots where the shock wave from the supernova impacts the ring, resulting in its luminous appearance. These captivating observations provide astronomers with valuable insights into the intricate dynamics of supernova remnants, shedding light on the processes governing the evolution of these cosmic phenomena over vast stretches of time. Despite decades of study since the supernova's initial discovery, numerous mysteries persist, particularly concerning the expected formation of a neutron star in the aftermath of the explosion. NASA noted in a press release that Akin to Spitzer, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, will continue its observations of the supernova over time. Equipped with NEAR-SPEC, Near-Infrared Spectrograph, and MIRI, Mid-Infrared Instrument, JWST will provide astronomers with the capability to gather new, high-resolution infrared data over time, offering fresh insights into the newly identified crescent structures. Furthermore, JWST will maintain collaborations with Hubble, Chandra, and other observatories, aiming to unlock new perspectives on the past and future of this legendary supernova. NASA's Curiosity rover, actively exploring the Martian surface, has unearthed evidence suggesting the existence of ancient lakes in an unexpected region of Mars. The discovery of rippling rock patterns in this area, indicating the presence of significant quantities of water where it was not initially anticipated, was announced by the U.S. Space Agency. According to a NASA release, the discovery of the most convincing evidence of ancient lake waves to date has surprised the Curiosity team, with granite rippling textures suggesting surface waves on a tiny lake billions of years ago. Ashwin Vasavada, Curiosity's project scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California, described this as the most compelling evidence of water and waves encountered throughout the mission, emphasizing its discovery in an area presumed to be dry. In its quest to unravel the aquatic past of the Red Planet, Curiosity continues to traverse the foothills of Mount Sharp, a towering three-mile-high mountain that was once adorned with streams and lakes. As the rover ascends, it traverses through layers of Mount Sharp, providing scientists with a unique opportunity to trace Martian evolution from a planet resembling ancient Earth, with a warmer climate and abundant water, to the cold desert it is today. Meanwhile, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has captured in remarkable detail the explosion of a massive star, spanning three separate images over eight days, commencing shortly after the detonation. This blow-by-blow -blow account provides invaluable insights into the dynamics of stellar explosions, further enriching our understanding of cosmic phenomena. It stands as a remarkable achievement considering the vast duration and distance it encompasses. Approximately 11.5 billion years ago, a distant star, estimated to be 530 times larger than the Sun, met its demise in a cataclysmic explosion that scattered its outer layers of gas into the surrounding cosmos, an event meticulously documented by astronomers in unprecedented detail. Astronomer Wenli Chen, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Minnesota and the lead author of the study published in the journal Nature, revealed that the groundbreaking images were unearthed during a review of archival data from Hubble observations dating back to 2010. These images provided the first ever glimpse of a supernova rapidly cooling after the initial explosion in a single set of images and offered an unprecedented look at a supernova occurring during the early stages of the cosmos's history, when it was less than a fifth of its current age. Patrick Kelly, an astronomy professor at the University of Minnesota and co-author of the study, highlighted that the supernova is in the process of expanding and cooling, resulting in a transition from a hot blue hue to a cooler red tone. The doomed star, identified as a red supergiant, was situated in a dwarf galaxy and met its end at the conclusion of its relatively short lifespan. Chen explained that red supergiants are massive, luminous stars with surface temperatures of around 180,000 degrees Fahrenheit, yet they appear red due to their relatively cooler nature compared to other massive stars. Following the depletion of fusion energy in its core, 
a red supergiant undergoes collapse, leading to a supernova explosion that disperses the star's outer layers, including its hydrogen envelope. The sequence of images captured by the Hubble telescope provides a detailed chronicle of the supernova's evolution. Approximately six hours after the initial explosion, the first image depicts the explosion as relatively compact and intensely hot, reaching temperatures of about 180,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Subsequent images taken two days and six days later showcase the outward expansion of the ejected gaseous material. Notably, the temperature of the explosion decreases significantly in these subsequent images, highlighting the evolving nature of this cosmic phenomenon. Chen suggested that the remains of the exploded star likely transformed into an incredibly dense object known as a neutron star. The phenomenon of strong gravitational lensing played a pivotal role in enabling the Hubble telescope to capture three images at different temporal points following the explosion. Acting as a magnifying lens, the immense gravitational force exerted by a galaxy cluster positioned in front of the exploding star, as observed from Earth, bent and amplified the light emitted by the supernova. This gravitational effect not only bends the light from celestial objects positioned behind the galaxy cluster, but also delays the travel time of light due to the gravitational time dilation. In essence, the emission of light from a single source located behind the lens can traverse multiple paths towards the observer, resulting in the observation of multiple images of the supernova. Kelly lauded the extraordinary capability of witnessing the rapidly cooling supernova unfold within a single set of images as truly remarkable. It's akin to watching a colorized film reel depicting the evolution of the supernova, offering a much more detailed portrayal compared to any previously known supernova during the early stages of the universe's development. The only other instances where such early-stage supernovae have been observed are in cases of nearby explosions, he concluded by emphasizing that when astronomers observe more distant objects, they are essentially peering back in time. We welcome your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below, and don't forget to show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel for future updates. Thank you for joining us.